So I've been working as a developer for a few years now, and it wasn't an easy journey. I learned various things along the way, but if I had to share one thing with you guys, that would be the importance of right mindset as a programmer. Yes, the most important thing that will determine whether you become a mediocre developer or become one of those top-level developers. No matter how hard you grind your leak code and development skills, if you don't move with a certain mindset, you'll fall behind. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the mindset you need to have for becoming a better programmer. Let me start with something that took me a long time to accept. Successful programmers don't wake up every day feeling smart. Most days, they feel confused. They feel stuck. Sometimes they feel like they have no idea what they're doing. And that feeling never fully goes away, even when you have years of experience. You don't reach a level where suddenly everything makes sense. The problems will keep changing and confusion will still be there. Even experienced developers Google basic things. Even people you look up to make mistakes regularly. The difference is not intelligence. The difference is how they react to that feeling. When you're feeling confused or down, you should discard thoughts like you're not good enough. If you're feeling dumb when you start a new thing, that just means you're learning something different and expanding your skill set. If it feels uncomfortable right now, that doesn't mean you're failing. It means you're doing real work outside your comfort zone. Just think about it. Was it easy for you to gain the skill set and knowledge you currently have? No, right? You were confused and frustrated, but you eventually figured it out. So feeling like you're not good enough is normal. You just have to move with the right mindset. Another biggest mistakes I see among programmers is obsessing over languages. Should I learn JavaScript or Python? Is this framework better than that one? Successful programmers don't think like that. They understand that programming is not about the language. It's about solving problems. A language is just a tool. The real skill is being able to look at a problem, break it into smaller subproblems, and figure out a logical way to solve it. If you understand the problem clearly, the code becomes almost secondary. Syntax can be learned. Logic building takes time. The logic you write in JavaScript won't be different than Python. The only difference is the syntax. This is why good programmers can work on multiple stack, because they have logic building skills. When you focus only on languages, learning feels overwhelming. When you focus on problem solving, languages are just tools. So instead of focusing on mastering a language or framework, master problem solving. That mindset changes everything. Next thing is don't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 20. One of the fastest ways to lose confidence as a programmer is comparison. You open GitHub and see someone building amazing projects. You scroll LinkedIn and see people getting jobs, promotions, and praise. And suddenly, your progress feels invisible. Successful programmers are not immune to this, but they've learned to manage it. Everyone starts somewhere. Everyone has a chapter one, but you rarely get to see it. The programmer you admire once struggled with basics wrote shitty code like you, and they also failed at one point. If you're learning, building, and showing up even slowly, you're on the right path. Focus on your own chapter and stop unnecessary comparison. The rest will come. Now let's talk about next mindset. A lot of people believe successful programmers are just naturally talented, that they understand things faster, that they don't struggle as much, that somehow they were built for this. But in reality, what separates successful programmers from everyone else is consistency. They show up even on days when they don't feel motivated. They write code even when it feels messy and slow. They keep going when progress feels invisible. Talent helps at the beginning. Consistency decides who will win years later. Learning to code is not about big breakthroughs. It's about small, boring effort done repeatedly. Some days you'll understand everything. Most days you won't. And that's okay, because consistency doesn't require confidence. It only requires you showing up. You don't need to study for 10 hours a day. You don't need to feel inspired. You just need to keep moving one step at a time. The best programmers aren't the ones who learned fastest. They're the ones who didn't quit when things got hard. Let's talk about next mindset. Most people think programming is just about writing code. But in reality, writing code is the easy part. The real work starts when the code doesn't behave the way you expected. 
Programmers spend a huge amount of their time debugging, not because they're bad, but because complex systems break in complex ways. And when something breaks, they don't panic. They don't run the same program 10 times hoping to work. They don't immediately blame the language or the framework. First thing is to remain calm. Then read error message, logs, and test your assumptions. So if you spend hours debugging and feel frustrated, that's not wasted time. You have to move with the mindset that no matter how good code you write, bugs will appear. And rather than treating this bugs as headache, see it like a learning. You should learn from every problem you face. That's how you improve. So that were the five mindset you should move forward with if you want to become a successful programmer. Always remember that good things take time. Being a successful programmer isn't about knowing everything. It's about how you react when you don't know something. It's about showing up, learning from mistakes, moving forward every single day. That's the mindset that makes programmers successful. And you can start practicing these today. So if this video was helpful, make sure to comment down what mindset do you move forward with as a programmer. Also make sure to like, subscribe, and share this with your friend who is currently struggling. So I'll see you guys in next one.